Hello everyone, my name is Dibben Dugonai and you are watching Math Cyberspace. So this is the third video of this general aptitude series of West Bengal set exam. In last video, we have discussed up to question number 30. And today we will complete this paper. And that means from question number 31 to question number 50. Okay, so let's start. Here is the first question of this video. Question number 31. Which of the following articles of the Indian constitution originally referred to the right to property as fundamental right? Property as fundamental right, this is from article 19. So option A will be the correct option. Question number 32. Concerning the primary focus of the five year plans five year plans in india which of the following is not correct before that let me show you how many five year plans are there here you can see there are a total uh, from starting from 1951 to 2017 there are total 12 plans Okay, and there are also some uh, plans that means rolling plans, annual plans, etc. Okay, so we have to find out that option. Let's go into the question. And the question is uh, five year uh, in India, which of the following is not correct? Okay. So from this option, option A is first FYP. FYP means five year plans. First FYP, deployment of primary sector. This option is correct. Second FYP, this is heavy industry. This is also correct because second FYP, this is all related of heavy industry, okay? And third FYP, this is agricultural and uh, agro-based uh, industry okay and fourth FYP this is science and technology no this is incorrect fourth FYP is not based on science on technology so option D, D will be the correct option let me show you what is the fourth FYP here you can uh, check it the fourth FYP plan fourth plan 1969 to 1974 the fourth five-year plan adopted the objective of correcting the earlier trend of increased concentration of wealth and economic power. Okay, this is the main object of this fourth plan, plan. that is correcting of the earlier trend of increased concentration of wealth and economic power, right? So option four will be the correct option. Next problem, question number 33. Which of the following is not a function of the AICTE? Option A, promotion of quality in technical education. This is not correct. Focusing on non-formal education. This is also not correct because we have to find out not a function, okay? An emphasis on developing high quality institutions and innovative research program. This is the function of AICTE. So option C will also be incorrect. So option D will be the correct option. Let's read the option D. Allocation of grants for planned and coordinated development of technical education. Yes, this is not correct. This is not a function of AICTE. Okay, so option D will be the correct option. Question number 34. With which of the following government schemes are the phrase Har Khet Kopani, Har Khet Kopani and Par Drop More Crop, Par Drop More Crop Associated? Which of this, uh, which of the following government schemes, these two phrases are associated? Okay. And these two phrases, Par Drop More uh, Crop and this uh, phrase, these two phrases are uh, from the scheme of RADP, okay? And that means Rainfield Area Development Program. So option A will be the correct option. Question number 35. The Nobel Foundation has awarded 
two Nobel Prizes in Literature this year for 2018 and 2019. As last year's prize was cancelled, why was the Nobel Prize in Literature cancelled in 2018? What is the reason that in 2018 the Nobel Prize in Literature has been cancelled? And the reason is that there will be some, there are some internal problem in Swedish Academy. So option A will be the correct option because of internal problems of the Swedish Academy. Question number 36. The ratio between rates of walking of A and B, this is 3 is to 4. If the time taken by B to cover a distance is 24 minutes, the time taken by A to cover that much distance is Okay, so the ratio of walking, this is 3 is to 4 of A and B. And it is given that the time taken by B to cover a distance is 24 minutes. So how we can solve this problem? So here, total time is 24 minutes. Okay, and the ratio is 3 is to 4. So we can say that the total distance, distance will be 24 by 4 because this 24 minute has been taken by B and B is 4 is for B. So this is equals to 6. So we can say 6 kilometer or meter maybe. I am writing unit, 6 unit. 6 unit is the total distance. So what will be the time taken by A? And that will be 6 into 3 because for A, this is 3 is to 4, 3. So 16 to 3, this is equals to 18. So option A will be the correct option. Question number 37. 18 contains 50 percent, 25 percent and 10 percent coins in the ratio 5 is to 9 is to 4 amounting to rupees 206. Find the number of coins of each type respectively. Okay. So in 18 there are some coins of 50%, 25%, 10%. And the number of, of these coins is in a fixed ratio and the ratio is 5 is to 9 is to 4. And the total amount of these rupees is 206. So we have to find out the number of coins of this respective passive. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do is that here the total amount is in rupees, okay, but the coins are in pesos, okay. So first convert these coins into rupees, okay. So 50 pesos, that means half rupees, okay, and 25 pesos, that means 1 by 4 rupees, and 10 pesos, that means 1 by 10 rupees, okay. Now, here the number of coins are in this ratio 5 is to 9 is to 4. So I am considering that X is the common ratio, okay? If X is the common ratio, so now find out the total amount. For 50 percent, that will be 5X by, by 2, because 50 percent equals to half rupees. So 5X by 2, this is the total rupees of this 5X 50 percent, okay? Plus 9X, by 4 okay plus 4x by 10 this is equals to 206 now calculate this if we calculate this okay so or 2 4 and 10 the lcm will be 20 okay so this is equals to 50x plus this is 45x plus this will be 8x. This is equals to 206. Okay. Or x is equals to 206 into 20 divided by. So and this will be 50 plus 45 plus 8. So one zero three, okay, and this is equals to two two cancelled out forty. So x is equals to forty. That means common ratio is forty. 
So number of 50 pairs that will be 5x. That means um, 200. Okay. Number of 25 pairs. This, this is 9x. 9x means 360. 40 into 9. This is 30, uh, 360. And 4x. That means 40 into 4. So this will be 160. So 200, 360, and 160. Okay. Now check the options. In option B, you can see 200, 360, and 160. So option B will be the correct option. In examination for hall, if you uh, cannot solve this problem, so you can approach this problem using a second method also. So in that way, you have to choose the options and find out the ratio of those options. If you see that any option is not matching our given ratio 5 is to 9 is to 4, then that option will be incorrect. And if any option is satisfying or matching our given ratio 5 is to 9 is to 4, then that will be the correct option. Okay. So in this way, you can check also this problem. Now question number 38. If addition means subtraction, subtractions means multiplication, multiplication means division, and division means addition, then which of the following equation is not correct? Is not correct. Okay. So let's solve this problem. I have not collected. Okay. No problem. Let's check it here. So 10 into 5 multiplication means division. Okay. That means from option A, 10 division 5. Okay. Minus 2. And here subtraction means multiplication. So into 2. Okay. Division means addition. So plus 4. And addition means subtraction. So minus 6. Now calculate this. Let me tell you, this is this problem problem is not mathematical problem. This is a, a general aptitude problem. That's why you no need to maintain the property that first you have to uh, calculate the division, then multiplication, then addition, then uh, subtraction. You don't need to uh, process uh, to maintain this uh, process. Okay, so you can calculate step by step. So 10 divided by 5, let's see, this is 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 minus 6. So this will be 2. Okay. So option A is correct. That means the result of option A, this is correct. And we have to find out which one is not correct. Okay. So option A is incorrect. Now, 12 into 4. 12 into 4. And into means division. So 12 divided by 4. Addition means subtraction. Minus 5. Subtraction means addition. Plus 9. And into 2. So this is equals to 3. 3 minus 5 minus 2. Minus 2 plus 9. 7. 7 into 2. 14. Okay. So option B is also incorrect. Now option C. This will be 7 minus 15 that means 7 into 15 okay into 3 that means divided by 3 plus 6 means minus 6 and divided by 4 that means plus 4 so if you simplify this then you will get 33 and again option c will be the incorrect now option 4 14 plus 7. Subtraction means multiplication. So into 5 minus 10 and divided by 2. So this is equals to 21, 105. 14 plus 7. So this will be 21. 21 plus into, into 5. This will be 1. 0, 5 minus 10 divided by 2. So this is equals to 
10.5 divided by 2 so this this is this is not equals to 45 so option d that will be the correct option okay because we have to find out the incorrect that is which is not correct okay so option d will be the correct option going to the next problem question number 39 uh, question number 39 and question number 40 these two problems are research based problem and uh, let me tell you that the, you can learn about these problems in our coursework, the six month period of coursework. So here is the first question, question number 39. What is a research design? What is a research design? So option A, a way of conducting research that is not grounded in theory. Option A is incorrect. Option B, the choice between using qualitative or quantitative methods. This is also incorrect. Option C, the style in which you present your research finding. Option C is also incorrect. Option D, a framework for every stage of the collection. For every stage, yes. For every stage of the collection and analysis of data. This is correct. Option D will be the correct option. Question number 40. Which of the following is not an example of a unit of analysis? Unit of analysis. Uh, so validity, this is not correct. Okay, so option A will be the correct option. Yeah, not an example. And unit of analysis, validity is not an example of unit of analysis. And all these are uh, from unit of analysis. So option B, Option B, option C, option D. All these options are incorrect. Option A will be the correct option. Question number 41. A is the mother of P and Q. C is the father-in-law of A. Father of B and D and grandfather of Q. C has only one daughter. D is the aunt of P. How is B related to A? Let's draw a diagram for this problem. Here is the problem. A is the mother of P and Q. So this is A. A is the mother of P and Q. Okay. And father of B and, sorry, C is the father-in-law of A. C is the father-in-law of A. Suppose this is C. C is the father-in-law of A. Father of B and D. So, and C is father of B and D. Okay. And grandfather of Q. So, C is the grandfather of Q. So, C is the father-in-law of A and grandfather of Q. Grandfather of Q. Q. Okay. C has only one daughter. And here you can see C has, C have two, uh, B, C is the father of B and D. And here also given C has only one daughter. So between B and D, either B will be the daughter or D will be the daughter. But here given D is the aunt of P. So that means D is the aunt of P. That means D is the daughter. Okay. So B will be the son. Son of C. Now how is B related to A? How is B related to A? P and Q. A is the mother of P and Q. And D is aunt of P and Q. So here B and A. Since B is son of C. So B and A. That is B. B is the husband of A. Husband of A. So option C, that will be the correct option. Going to the next problem. So here option C, this is our correct option. Question number 42. In a certain code, 367 means blue color car. 694 means the green color fan. And 356 means white color card. What digit in that code means green? 
Okay, so let's solve this problem. Here, three six seven, three six seven. This is equals to blue color car. Okay, and six nine four. This is green color fan. And three five six. This is white. color car okay now you can check that which word is common in all these options a blue color car green color fan and white color car that means in all these three options the word color is common and also in all these codes the word six the word six is common so we can say that color this indicates by the letter with the number six okay now the word car the word car is common in first option and last option and in first and last the letter is common three the letter three is common so we can say car is indicated by the number three now in option first option one number is remaining seven and here one word is remaining blue so blue indicates blue is indicated by the number seven right now in last option one uh, number is remaining five and here one word is remaining white so white this is indicated by five but in option two there are two numbers are remaining nine and four and also there are two words are remaining green and fan so uh, there are two possibilities either green will be indicated by four or nine and fan will be indicated by four or nine so green green will be indicated by four or nine okay so option b either four or nine that will be the correct option okay Going to the next problem, question number 43. So here option B will be the correct option. Question number 43. How many fours? How many fours are there in the following number sequence which are immediately preceded by nine? Immediately preceded by nine, but not immediately followed by an even number. What is mean by immediately preceded by nine? That means the position of four that will be just next to the position of nine. Okay. And immediately followed by an even number. That means the position of four that will be just before an even number. Okay. Now check that force. Here, this is a four. So this four this four there are total this is a four this is an another four this is an another four this is an another four and here is an another four okay and in this four there is a nine before four and there is a five after four okay so we can take this four here in this four nine is not there before four so we cannot take this four here two is after four but here condition is immediately followed by an even number not immediately followed by an even number so we cannot take this four because after four there is an even number two okay now for this four this four is after nine and this four is before three so we can take this four and here this four is after nine and this four is before one and one is odd number so we can take this four also so we have three fours which are satisfying these two conditions that immediately preceded by nine and not immediately followed by even number so option c three that will be the correct option question number 44 choose the missing word in place 
of question mark on the basis of relationship. West is related to northeast and south will be related to which options? Okay, so you know this is north, this is south. This is east and this is west. Okay. Now, west, that means this point is related to northeast. Okay. That means in clockwise direction, greater than 90 degree. In clockwise direction, greater than 90 degree. Okay. So, west is related to northeast and south. South, that will be also, uh, that will be related to in clockwise direction greater than 90 degree. That means here in this position and which is northwest. So option A, northwest, that will be the correct option. Question number 45. I started uh, walking towards east. So let's draw first east, west. This is east, this is west, this is north. This is south. Okay. I started walking towards east after and after walking 20 meters. So in east, this is 20 meters. So after walking 20 meters, turned to my left and walked 15 meters. So left, that means in this direction. And this is 15 meters. Again, I turned to my left and walked 15 meters. Again, Okay, I have skipped a line. Then I turned to my left and walked 20 meters. So again, I have turned towards left. This is my left side and this is again 20 meters. Okay. Again, I turned to my left and walked 15 meters. And again, it turned to left and walked 15 meters. And this is 15. Okay. Now, now I am walking in which direction with respect to the starting point. So this is our starting point. Now the question is, what will be the direction of this path, okay? And this is nothing but south direction. So option is south, that will be the correct option. Now, these questions are text-based questions. So let me tell you that when you will given some text or passage, don't read the passage. First, go to the question and find out the key words of that question. For example, here the word panacea, okay. The word panacea are used in the passage means and panacea that, that used in, that means general remedy, okay. So option C will be the correct option. 47, the author is of the view that, the author is of the view that, here you can see that option A is there is no solution in law for the problems of Dalits. Option B, legal solutions are not always the most effective. And option C is casteism is deeply entrenched in the legal system of India. And option D, there cannot be any permanent solution to the problem of Dalit oper uh, operations. Okay. So here you can see that here uh, you can see here the constitution, the constitution has become synonymous to a grievance cell offering no immediate solutions okay and here in option b it is saying that legal solutions legal solutions means the solutions which are uh, maintaining the constitutions okay so legal solutions are not always the most effective and this is the statement which is given in our text so option b that will be the correct option now question number 48 what does the author mean by claiming that the idea of the constitution is romantic? Here you can see that the author have, been, uh, have written the idea of 
the constitution is romantic and no one really knows its limitations but lords its profoundity without testing it out okay lords uh, its profoundity without testing it out now check the options option is a is the constitution is unrealistic no this is not correct the constitution has many limitations this is also not correct the constitution is commonly understood to be profounded yes this is correct so option c will be the correct option the belief in the constitution is unfounded this is not correct so option d is incorrect okay Sorry, let me read this again. Option C is saying that the constitution is commonly understood to be profounded, profound. And option D is the belief in constitution is unfounded. Here, given that no one really knows its limitations, but lots its profoundity without testing it out. Sorry, option C will be incorrect. And option D will be the correct option. So for question number 48, option D will be the correct option. The belief in the constitution is unfounded. Now question number 49. Which of the following statements is not implied in the passage? Option A is caste operations will continue so long as people do not obey the constitution. Option B. The constitution is not equally accessible to all. Option C is constitution morality is only an ideal and not a reality. And option D is the problem of caste cells for social and not merely legal solutions. Actually, this uh, text is basically on the problems which are in our constitutions. Okay, so that's why we have to find out that uh, option which, uh, which is not implied in this passage. That means we have to find out that option which is according to our constitutions or, or which is satisfying or which is obeying our constitutions. Okay, so option A is caste operations will continue so long as people do not obey the constitutions caste operations will continue so long no this is this is the uh, this is not implying our passage so option a will be the correct option the constitution is not equally accessible to all yes this statement is in our uh, text so option b will be incorrect constitution morality is only an ideal and not a reality yes this is also incorrect the problem of caste cells for social and not merely legal solutions. This statement is also uh, uh, satisfying our text or also is in our text. So option D will also incorrect. So option A will be the correct option. Question number 50. Which of the following analogies does the author recurrently use with reference to casteism? Here in passage, you can see here, one has to pierce through the devious agenda of casteist, casteist rogus by injecting a radical antidote to set a tone of mutuality and respectability. That means here casteism, casteism, casteism that means this is saying about Caste, he is the author is relating casteism with a disease. Okay, so casteism is like a disease. Option C, that will be the correct option. So option A, option B, and option D are incorrect. Okay, so in first video of this general aptitude series, we have solved from question number one to question number nine. In second video, we have solved from question number 10 to question number 30. And in this video, we have solved from question number 31 to question number 50, okay? So all the problems which are asked in 2020 general aptitude paper of WB set exam are solved by our channel, okay? So if till now you have not seen our previous two videos, then go to our playlist and watch those videos. 
and if it is beneficial for you then share it with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you